What is up everybody? I'm back with the 65 gallon Garden of the Roots Aquascape and uh, it's about time to tear it all down. Um, it's just been running for a year, maybe two years, I don't really remember, but it's been running for a while and um, substrate started to disin uh, not disintegrate, but you know, degrade in quality. Um, snails started getting out of control. Um, I started <laughs> ignoring it because of the uh, Project Homesick and all the wild fish that are coming in, and uh, I've had to put it on back burner. So now is when I'm going to uh, just go ahead and t take it all down. Um, it's getting warm outside finally, which is what I was waiting for to announce this, and uh, I can start moving plants outside. So that's what I'm going to do in here. I'm going to take all the plants that. I've uh, been affected by the algae and plants that I still need to grow and take them outside uh, where I can produce them in larger quantities for the next aqu aquascape that's probably going in this tank. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do something like I did with Garden of the... No, oh, nope, that's, this is Garden of the Woods. Uh, with uh, Project Homesick or um, I'm thinking of Project Theta um, just because got a bunch of wild fish and a bunch of new pistos, so I might as well just make some more biotopes, especially in a tank where it's so fit for pistogramma uh, to have trios and harem and colonies. It's 36 by 24 by 18, so plenty of for floor space for them to run around in, and um, if I just get rid of all the substrate that's in here, I can have plenty of leaf litter and plenty of hiding spaces. I might actually use it as a grow out tank, uh, a show tank grow a tank for the pisto fry. That might actually look pretty cool. I just came up with that just now. Just write that down. But, um, yeah, so gonna go ahead and drain the tank uh, and then tear out a bunch of plants, fill it back up, and uh, see what's in this thing. I haven't actually, like, looked at this tank for a while. I'm sure there's gotta be a bunch of new uh, Silverfin Tetris swimming around there, so let's see what's up. We're gonna journey to the light. We're gonna make it through the night. Alright, so I started the pump on the draining, and as the pump was draining the initial water, I scooped out as much duckweed as I could, and I took out all of the stem plants that I could find, other than the hygrophila, of course, because it's everywhere and I can't <laughs> really control it without draining the water. Um, there are so many plants, can't actually get a good angle at that. Uh, let's see if I can show you a better picture, because obviously. Not nearly as many plants as the first time I had to uh, uproot everything, but <laughs> no less. But that's going to be a lot of uh, stem plants. I try to save all the most valuable ones, especially the Motala Walichi and uh, the good old Ludwig Ludwigia Reference Red. Um, so those are the ones that I use the most in 
aquascapes whenever I can fit them in. Um, pump's going to take a little while to drain the rest of the water, so just going to fast forward through this part. are up here. Just look at how much uh, Sagittarius that is. That is just, oh my gosh, that is a lot. That's going to be amazing. Growing immersed, I'll probably have enough to start selling, hopefully. Um, the rest of the plants are starting to dry out, should probably get to that. And look at all those crowns. The Echondorus and the Cryptocrines, just wonderful. All right, so the last plant in there, uh, for the most part, is the hair grass, the hygrophilia, and the um, the smaller Sagittarius. Uh, I doubt there's any more glass to take me in there, but I'm just gonna leave that for uh, second wave, I guess, because there is so much of it. Probably an equal amount of hygrophila, just total plant mass, probably half of uh, hygrophilia. So, gonna go ahead and start cleaning out these guys and uh, getting them ready to go outside, and I'll deal with the hygrophila another day. Um, yeah, so, get to cleaning this.